Hey guys, hi Dio. So I know I've been quiet for this last couple of days, even when I got out of hospital and there wasn't any updates. So I do apologize for that. My phone decided to die on me, um, but luckily it's fixed now. So basically what happened was I went in to, hosp to the hospital with the idea that, you know, Monty might just come out and I was so excited about it and the reason why I was so excited because Monty can come out is the fact that the specialist um, he was so excited when he saw the um, like the inside of my airway and he told us like listen it looks so so well inside um, yo we might just take this out <coughs> Excuse me. So I went in with that mentality that hey, today might be the day, eh? No more Monty. And when I had the operation, luckily the prof, the prof, prof Lindiger, he was also there because he told everyone there that no one is touching me unless he is taking out and doing everything because of all the issues we've had in the past with um, my airway and all the reconstruction that was done and then when I woke up I thought yes now it's, it's gonna be gone and then reality struck me and it felt as if I was moving back 10 15 places compared to where I was before I heard the fact that Monty could not be removed. So, as you guys can see, I have Monty 2.3478 and 378 at this stage. And the reason why this happened is when they took, even though the airway looked perfect um, with the scans and stuff they did, my airway has not completely uh what do you call it um matured so there where they did the first cut and they literally had to chop my airway off cut out that piece that caused all the issues and then sew it back together there there where they cut it it is still soft it has not matured yet so that is why i have the new monty and Basically, the reason why I was so upset is I really did thought that, listen, now I'll be able to go to hydrotherapy and do the swimming and all of that, in which I've lost so much due to the fact that I got this, this pipe in my airway now. I'm not allowed to swim. And I was so upset about it. And then, just to top it all off, um... The prof and the doctor told my sister, listen, it's going to be in for 18 months. Um, and then they'll do another check. They'll go down again and see whether that part of my airway has matured yet. So Monty and I are still going to have a, a long road to recovery. The professor also told my sister, I need to take a week off. Um, from walking with Brandon as well due to the fact there was so much done in the airway to just give it sufficient time and also let the anesthetics work itself out of my body before we start working hard again and this all just it felt like a, a losing battle to be honest it feels like I have all these opportunities, the walking with Brandon, getting my free wheel, getting all this stuff, but it's as if it's just not coming together the way I want it to come together. And yes, I still struggle with that because we're all human. We want things to work out our way. And I mean, I'm a ginger for a reason. 
I was born with a woolly label. Um, and it's just so frustrating because it's, I want to be at the rear. I know I can't be there because I have to heal first. And then if that wasn't bad enough, my stupid phone broke. Um, luckily, shout out to Linnell. Hey, what's up, girl? Um, she helped me um, to get it up and running again. So it has just been such a bad time for me. And I didn't want to give out all this negativity. But I thought I might as well tell you guys why I'm so quiet. And share my emotions and feelings of frustration and just disappointment because I wanted this to work so badly I wanted it to be over and done with and open more opportunities for me more stuff to do but I guess it's just not my time yet and I'm hard-headed enough to continue fighting and doing whatever needs to be done but I just wanted to tell you guys that you can't be strong all the time some other time you will have a meltdown you will feel like you're losing everything and nothing is working out the way you want it to work out and that's where my hard-headedness comes in because then I start asking questions and why not now um, why did it happen? Why am I in this situation? And I had to come to the realization is that's why the devil is continually nailing me. Because as soon as I think I, I've got hold of this, I got this, let's do this, something happens. And it kind of feels like it's breaking me. Because I'm trying everything in my damnedest not to be in that situation. But it's like every now and again. I mean just this, op this operation. It literally, it, it, it broke me emotionally because I wasn't up for this. I wasn't less for this. It's not fun being in hospital. And the, the hospital is fantastic. Kretiskir is absolutely phenomenal. But that just, that's just, I didn't want to be there. I wanted to be fixed already. And I have to let my heart, hard-headedness go. And stop asking questions. And just wait for God to do it on his time. Even though I, I might not, well, I'm not liking it, to be honest. But that's just how it is now. I'm going to sit with Monty for another 18 months and then see what's up. I know they say there's a reason for everything, but yes, guys. My buttons are being pushed and I'm not liking it. And at the end of the day, I have to learn to like them because it is what it is. I can't change it. I have to take it as it is and it's not always fun and games. So besides the fact that I was in hospital, I just needed to get time on my own for myself and just think about everything and let it just all sink in because it hasn't yet sunk in. Um, but I will be back at Walking with Brendan on Monday. Finally, I can just get out and burn all the sweat and work my butt off. Um, and then there's going to be no stops, no checkups or whatever quite soon. So that's what I'm waiting for. I just want to get to Cape Town and get to the Walking with Brennan Foundation and just let them work my butt off. I think I need that to get all the frustration out 
and just to get a hold of myself again. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys and just remember it's okay to lose yourself from time to time and struggle to go through things. But remember you have to get through them some other time. Rather sooner than later or never. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day further. I'm sorry you guys that you wait so long for updates. Stuff happened and please remember to comment, like, share and subscribe. And remember hashtag Donkey Love, Heidi.